Welcome, everybody, to Brockton High Basketball. This is Miles Jackson bringing you all the action here at Staff Gymnasium at Brockton High School, and along with my broadcast partner, Brazil. Chris Brazil, excuse me, Chris. How you doing this evening? Yeah, I'm doing pretty good, Miles. How about you? All right, all right, all right. We got the boxes coming in here at five and one. New Bedford coming in at two wins, four losses, but you can throw those um, numbers right out the window because this is a very intense rivalry going back for decades. And uh, New Bedford, one thing about New Bedford, I think they're two and four is because they got a young team. They've got uh, three, well, they have one, excuse me, two seniors. They've got two sophomores and one junior. They don't have a lot of height, where, of course, Brockton, we know what Brockton's all about. New Bedford in their um, red jerseys and red pants, Brockton in there all white, Chris. Yeah, yeah, Bro yeah. I remember this game last year. Um, this game was a mysterious game last year, sort of the same setting, sort of the same, mi sort of the same microcosm of sort. New Bedford had a bad record and Brockton had a good record, but, but New Bedford blew us out in, in Brockton court. You know, there's a lot of arguing in that game. So, All right. let's, so let's see what this game brings to us. Here we go. Brockton wins the tap. Blakely. Gets it out to Navon. And Navon Reed. Brockton with the re offensive boards, and there's a foul. And Navon came out of there with the rebound and a foul and a chance to hit the first two points of the game. Yeah, Coach Bowen told me, look for the inside game, the front court game of Brockton to try to take over, to try to win this game. Na Navon Reed, Vikim Nichols, and Raymond Benton. Look for those guys to be a big factors in this game. Look and, for and of course, they were a big factor. And there you go. That was... Um, the Kim Nichols with the offensive boards puts it right in for two. And as you know, the last game against Durfee, Brockton controlled the boards on the offensive end as well as the defensive end. Yeah, but yeah, Brockton dominated that game against Durfee. So New Bedford brings the ball down. That's a sophomore there, number 14, Clinton Dunson. And stolen by Biddle who stole the basketball, but New Bedford gets it right back. They get it at the top of the key. Inside is New Bedford. Shot is missed and rebound, Navon. Inside goes Diamond oh. Blakely and he is fouled. So the boxes both times have come inside tried inside this inside shots and both had um, capitalized on on fouls yeah yeah look look for that very often in this game and Brockton sort of picking on their picking in their poison a bit already so Blakely with a chance for two and he makes his first free throw Blakely makes two attempts at the line. It's a four-nothing lead. Your Brockton High boxes. This is Brockton Community Access Sports, bringing you the best in high school basketball. Shot oh, is missed. Well defended by Todd Robinson. Here comes Navon, and he dunks it home very easily. Nice pass to uh, Navon. Great transition basketball. Yeah, they got it down the floor very quickly. Six nothing boxer lead. Long bomb is no good air ball. Wow. Great defense by Vike by yeah, Broxes here. You'll they see how Navon. quickly they got it down. Navon Reed with the one hand slam. Two points. Good pass. I couldn't quite. See who passed that ball up front. I believe it was Todd Robinson who Todd passed Robinson. it. Robinson drives in back outside. Navon drives in. Nice. It's an easy two. Yeah, Navon is heating up early. He does this very often in games. 
right now Devon's taking advantage of what the defense gives him. Blakely with the steal. Drives to the basket and are they gonna give it to him? Wow. Looks like they looks like they will be. Yes. Nice drive by Diamond Blakely. And he will go through the free throw line with um, chance for a three point play. You'll see here Diamond. Diamond Blakely. Yes. Smart offensive play. Yes. Yeah, man. Yeah, Brockton's picking the poison of New Bedford, as I said it earlier. Going to the line and being aggressive. Great basketball so far by them. Yeah, Diamond Blakely already already was five points. Yeah, Blake with five, Navon with six. Shot is good. So New Bedford gets on the board for the first time this evening with 5-17 in the first quarter. Biddle. Robinson, long bomb. Good! Nice shot, Todd Robinson. Nice three by Todd. This is a fast-paced offensive game for the boxes so far. Yeah, they're not wasting any time. And Todd Robinson gets in there, nice defensive play, and it's going to be a jump ball. It'll be possession going to uh, New Bedford. And yeah, number five, Carlos Lugo stepped out of bounds, so it'll be okay. Brockton ball. And the referee's going to hold the. Gave him up a quick second to get the net off the uh, rim. Blakely with the ball over to Todd Robinson. In the corner to Biddle, takes the long bomb. No good off the rim. Navon with the offensive boards. Todd Robinson fires, no good. And that was nice hustle by Biddle. It'll be Box's ball. Great hustle by Biddle, and they got a fresh shot clock, 30 seconds. So it was a well-timed possession. Reason they got the fresh 30 is because New Bedford touched it. And they're gonna call a foul in the paint. And they'll take the ball from underneath, non-shooting foul. Yeah, New Bedford already with four fouls in the half. Three more, they'll be above the penalty. And it'll be kicked out of bounds by New Bedford. So Brockton will retain the basketball. And when Biddle got the ball, he had a, his foot on the line, so it'll go back to New Bedford. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, a couple of plays on the last position. You gotta have your eyes on the back of your head if you're a basketball player. You gotta you gotta be aware aware of the surroundings. So so two 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 boneheaded plays by Lugo and Biddle. So in for the boxes is uh, Bento. And they're gonna call a foul on Bento. Did a nice job getting up there. It's just that uh, he had body contact yeah, yeah. because Speak he got his hands on the ball. Yeah, speaking of body contact, man, just guess how big Raymond Mento is, Miles. Just guess how big he is. How big is he? 6'8", 240. So yeah, he's, he's a, a big boy. It's a, a big boy in high school. So, but he's been he's been a great factor for Coach Coming, Mona yes, and the coming off the bench, he's been very productive. Yes, had a had a big game last game. Crosses midcourt. Diamond Blakely is fouled. Yeah, New Bedford's pressing on Brockton. Full court pressing. Brockton almost every possession. But Brockton, despite Brock, but despite Brockton's 14-4 lead. Ooh, nice dish off. Yeah. And they're gonna call a charge. Oh. Just before Biddle dished it off. They say he uh, made contact with the defense. So it'll be uh, Bedford's ball. 
That's 3.53 good. left in this first quarter. That was good awareness by New Bedford. Stolen by Todd Robinson. Yes, and here come the boxes. And they're gonna call wow. another charge wow. by Biddle. Close play right there, but the Bedford gets the break. Right now, Box is in charge with a 10 point lead. Top of the key, drives to the paint. Nice little dish off, but but 22, Riberio, excuse me, Elijah Riberio could not take advantage, but he will go to the free throw line. See it right here, let's see who possibly fouled him. They're gonna say uh, Diamond Blakely, yeah, I think look, came look, in. And it looked like Diamond to me, yep, yes. Put his hand in there, got caught. Shot, so back come the boxes. And we got Isaac Lane in the game. Isaac with the two, no good. Gets his own, um, actually steals the ball. Blakely with a floater, good. Diamond Blakely is looking sensational early on. Yeah, nice touch with the floating shot right there. Back outside, cross court pass is tipped by Navarre. Nice save. Wow. Todd Robinson breaks, and it is off wow. the. Um, off Todd Robinson's foot, yeah. good defensive play by New Bedford. A nice defensive tip. But that was a great defensive play and hustle by Navon Reed. Yeah, Navon Reed showcasing his football skills. He was a wide receiver for the boxers last season. Back comes New Bedford with two minutes, 32 seconds left in his first quarter. Long three is good. That was number 34, Sam Mosher. Who's a soft, excuse me, junior, soft junior. Oh, they're gonna count it. They're the gonna two count points it. For nice play by Navon. Excuse me, Sam Mosher of uh, New Bedford is a sophomore. You see the replay here. The yeah, Navon Reed, triple team in the paint. Yes, yeah, great, great, um, great act of athleticism. Yes. Use your body at all at all costs. So Navon will have a chance for a three-point play. He'll convert it. And overthrown. That's because of the defense of Brockton. Yeah, sir. And, and right now, New Bedford really doesn't have an answer for this um, tough boxer defense. Yeah, they don't quite have an answer for it, and um, they've been they've been confused on it as well. Yeah. Robinson at the top of the key gets inside. Floda. No good. Out of there comes the Whalers. Get it up quickly, lay it up and in. Nice play by Mosher, the sophomore. And quickly, the boxers come back. Bento. And Another charge, wow. Alowu called for the charge there. Wow, New Bedford is really just testing Brockton's psycho psychological skill, psychological mindset right now with all these charge plays. Brockton's one of the best teams in the state in, in, char in driving into the paint. And New Bedford's really, really figured it out. So boxes Navon to Bento and is blocked. As he was trying to go up with the ball and it was blocked from behind. Good defensive play by New Bedford. Yeah. But even though New Bedford's doing a good job on the on the charging, um, 
having Brock come in on a number of charges this evening. But that's not going to stop Brockton from continuing going to the basket. Yeah, it shouldn't stop. And they actually received some of the calls. Long bomb is no good by Navon. And Jason Parent, a junior, number 12, is in for the boxes. Drive to the basket is no good. Well defended. Parent. Navon into the corner to three. It's good. That was Isaac Lane with the three. Isaac Lane had a big game last game against Durfee. In the paint. Shot is missed. Bento comes out of there. They got it to Parent. Bento, back to Parent. Twelve seconds left in this first quarter. Parent. Navon drives to the basket, strong, wow. no good. Gets his own rebound, but it is blocked and. Boxers come out here to win a very commanding 22-9 lead at the end of the first quarter. The inside game did it all, but also because the inside game was so strong, Chris, the outside game was even was good too because they hit a lot of threes. Yeah, the outside game was really good. Navon hit, Navon hit a three, so did Isaac Lane. Yeah, Diamond Blakely did a great job on, on his um, offensive, offensive prowess. He actually second in Brockton in scoring behind Navon. Yeah, this is actually looking like a... Um, it's, it's it's a blow it's a blowout lead for Brockton, but but New Bedford is there, so don't don't count don't count out that southeast rival. Yes, and um the the one problem the black boxers have is well, excuse me, the one problem the Whalers have is just the boxers defense is just smothering the Whalers. They really can't get good shots. Boxers are all of them that Boxes defense is causing a lot of turnovers by the Whalers. Yeah, the the Whalers haven't even shot a lot of attempts, honestly. Brockton is not Brockton is not even allowing them to shoot. I think I think most of their points came from the the, the charity strike. <laughs> so yeah, so great defense by the Brockton Boxes. Their defense is gonna have to win this game for them. So we'll get ready to start the second quarter. Yeah, it looks like um, Navon Reed is really putting some points on the board early on in that first quarter. Yeah, 10 points already for Navon. Yeah. And and all those points have been inside. Exactly. That's yes. just inside and um, at the free throw line. Yes. But because he he attempted the inside um, point, the layups, he got fouled on a, num a number of times and made his free throws. Yes. Isaac in the lane, drives, good. Wow. Nice smooth drive by um, Isaac Lane. Very smooth. Bedford inside. Nice defense by the boxes. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Shot is no good. Bento comes out of there. And Navon gets it, saves it. Parent, shot is no good. Bento gets in there, but It'll be New Bedford's ball. Yeah, but Raymond Betts is a little proactive today. He'll very, very, very fidgety. But I think I think I think he'll calm down a little bit as the game goes on. The great thing about Bento, he doesn't mind mixing it up inside. He, he hustles for everything. Yes. And he's not scared to use his body. Nice inside move. Bento got a break there because there was some body contact, but no whistle. Ooh, nice Navon Reed with the three. 27-11. Little spin move, flayed away, off the glass, oh. no good, but they're gonna call traveling. Oh, wow. That was a nice move, but he traveled. The referee said he traveled. Yeah, the, yeah, the boxers defense is doing a good job on Carlos Lugo. Um, New Bedford coach me, told me he's their best player, and he hasn't, he hasn't showed up at all so far. Well, he showed his thing right there. 
Pass in the corner, Isaac Lane, he's gonna take it, and it's missed. But it'll be Box's ball. Uh, New Bedford could not hold on to the um, defensive rebound. Yeah, the boxes got a break a bit, got, got a break there. Yeah, finally, Navon Reed comes out for a well-deserved rest. Yes, he, he needs it. After an all-star performance in that first quarter and part of the second quarter. Diamond Blakely with the two, Ooh. no good, excuse me, with the three, no good, air ball. Back in is uh, by Kim Nichols. Gives Bento a rest. Also in number 25 for the boxers. Benelton Xavier. Yes. Zenden Korea's in. No, Zenden is not in. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. You're right. Um, Benelton. Benelton. Benelton Xavier. Thank you. Yeah, I like the starting. I like this five right now for the boxers. They get it inside. Outside shot is no good. Oh wow. The boxers Ooh. fight inside, and they're going to call a push underneath by the big man, by Kim Nichols. So number five for the um, Whalers will go to the free throw line. Carlos Lugo, who's a senior. Yeah, Brockton's, Brockton's on the penalty right now, seven fouls and a half. Oh, 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 cause a jump ball would be New Bedford ball. Back outside, long three is no good. Rebound, Isaac Lane, and he comes out quickly. Xavier, Blakely. Xavier fakes it, goes in to paint. Blocked. Back out top to Todd Robinson, who's back in. Diamond stops and pops. No good. So New Bedford has the ball. Drives to the basket, no good. Well defended. Yes, here comes uh, Isaac. Lane goes into the lane, and they're gonna call. He's gonna get the two. He's gonna get the two, nice play by Isaac. He held up just enough. There was contact, but they're gonna call it on New Bedford. Oh no, they're gonna call it a charge. Oh no, they'll call it a charge. They are calling it a charge. You'll yeah, see it right there on New Bedford Wheeler. He did have position. But Isaac Lane is so smooth. Yeah. He kind of fooled us with it, but exactly. it is a charge. Yeah, yeah. If you're Brockton, once once the charge is about to appear, you gotta you gotta take the jump shot. Stop, stop your prog stop your movement progress, because New Bedford's doing doing that the entire game. You gotta really you gotta figure it out. You gotta change the change the mindset. Yeah, stop stop and pop for a shot. Yeah, New Bedford's um, done a good job draw, um, drawing the charge charging calls this evening. Oh, no, it isn't a charge. It, oh, okay. Maybe a tech, oh, too. Oh, okay. So Isaac will go to the free throw line. Okay, for some reason they called a tech, but they all said it was a charge. They're all going to go back and. Okay, it was offsetting fouls. Offset, oh, yeah, offsetting calls. 29-12. First free throw attempt by number one. Derek Baptiste, a senior. And his free throw, second free throw test, no good. Uh, New Bedford Wheelers aren't shooting the uh, free throws attempt so far this evening very well. I don't know if they made any, but they missed a lot. Yeah, they missed a lot. And, and to compete with Brockton, you got to make your free throws. You got to make your free throws if, if you want to compete with the boxes. Out top is New Bedford. Sam Mosher goes to the basket, lays it up, and misses the layup. Here comes Diamond Blakely. Right, 
Isaac looks inside to Bento, he lays it up and in. Nice. Nice job by Isaac to see the big man underneath and Bento took advantage. You might see it yeah, right here. Yeah, this pass by Isaac Lane was a pro level pass to Raymond Bento who converted it. Good job by yeah. Bento. And that was a smooth pass by Isaac Lane. Everything is just smooth about Isaac. Yeah, a good, a good, a good, good basketball player. In the corner, Xavier stops, pops the three, no good. Over the back foul on Bento. Looked like it was going in, but it just hit the rim. Wow, 16 total fouls for both of these teams in this. Make that 17 total fouls for both of these teams in this half. It F is a physical game. Yeah, physical game here in the first half with five minutes left in this second quarter. This is Brockton Community Access, Sport Access Sports yeah, bringing think, you the best in uh, South Shore basketball. Yeah, I think the Whalers mindset is trying to foul up the Brockton players by by using a an awkward strategy, just foul out the players. It's been, it's kind of, it's working, it's working to a, it's working to a bit, working I, to a bit. I guarantee you, but it won't, you might get one player to foul out, but the way Coach Bowden brings in his sub substitution players, if he feels um, a um, someone's getting in foul trouble, he'll take them right out, True. and somebody will come in and step right in. True. True. The so um, Bowen is real. Coach Bowen is real good at that. Long bomb is no good. So Xavier with the rebound back out top to Diamond. Isaac in his stops, a little short pop, no good. Marshall with the rebound inside, and he overthrows number two, Kobe Fonseca. Fonseca, yes. A senior. Navon brings it up by himself, dishes in the corner. Back to Robinson, they're gonna call a travel on Todd. You don't see that often. Todd Robinson going to the basket. And they're going to be a call for uh, travel. The stop and pop is good by number 14, Clinton Dunstan, the sophomore. Diamond drives to the basket, Ooh. and he's fouled. And he was fouled hard, but he gets back up and he's okay. And he will go to the free throw line for two, two shots. Diamond Blakely, a junior. Really tough competitor. Yeah, Makes his first free throw attempt. He's a good free throw shooter too. Yeah, good, good, yeah, good, all, good overall basketball player. He has it all, defense, offense, yeah, good overall basketball player. So it should be should be returning next year for the boxers. A very a very quiet kid, very very mature. Goes about his business. Shot is missed, but Xavier gets the rebound, goes back up, and they're gonna call travel. Nice hustle by Xavier, but he was called on the the second rebound attempt. Yeah, he out 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 rebounded the New Bedford paint, so that's good. Good attempts. If there was anything good out of it, it was his hustle to getting two offensive boards to try to put that shot up. They're going to call travel wow. on uh, Carlos Lugo. Three forty-eight left in this second quarter. Boxers with a 32-15 lead. Yes. Biddle's back in the game. And it is stolen as he tried to shake and bake. And Navon almost stole the ball back, but Bedford was able to get the ball back on, on a hustle and the ball went out of bounds and it was off the boxes.
And because of the defense, Fox has caused another turnover by New Bedford as uh, Marsher had the, his foot on the line when he had the basketball trying to pass it back. In the corner to Todd Robinson. Navon. 10 seconds on the shot clock. In the corner to Xavier, he hits it. Nice shot by Xavier, nice nice pass by Navon Reed. Yep, Xavier likes that, likes that outside three point yeah. shot. Yeah, he loves the corner. Loves the corner. Ooh, Ooh wow. nice charge. Excuse me, charge, and, but a nice defensive play by Xavier Very and nice. um, Todd Robinson. I'm not sure, but they seem like they both went down with contact. But good positioning by the boxer defense. Yes. Robinson in the corner. Ooh, Ooh. wow. Did he trip him? Let's see, Looks like let's, it. let's see if we can see a replay. Wow. And he went down hard. He was looking for a foul, but no call. Wow, they didn't call it? Wow. <laughs> Box is looking for someone. Excuse me, the Bedford Whalers looking for someone. And the paint shot is no good. Wow. And the Bedford comes out of there. And they're going to call a foul, I believe, on uh, Xavier. Yeah, that was miscommunication on the rebound between Navon Reed and Trenton yeah. Biddle. They were both just crashing to each other, looking for the ball. Yeah, now, now, now New Bedford's at the line for it. Yep, Kobe's at the line. Kobe Francesca, a senior. And like you said, Kobe's one of the more promising players for this uh, New Bedford team. Yeah, yeah, he's a good player. Yeah, he's a good player. Pretty, a pretty, pretty decent player. He hasn't showed much offensively today, but I think, I think, I think New Bedford is going to need him. He's been on the court. He's he's probably had the most minutes of of the Whaler players. New Bedford tries to trap, but Brock Brock was able to break it inside to. Reed, they boxes send it around. Parent, no good. Nice shot attempt. Good shot is air ball. Navon with the rebound. Biddle saves it in the corner. And it'll be Brockton's ball as he's kicked out by. New Bedford, timeout New Bedford with one minute and 50 seconds left in this second quarter. You see the score, 35-17 Whalers. And still Whalers have no answer for this Brockton defense. Yeah, yeah. New Bedford needs offense. I don't see I don't see much promising offensive players for them. They, they, they're not showing up. I think they're intimidated by the boxer defense. They are intimidated. Um, the problem is Brockton's defense is just too good for this Whalers offense. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, they don't have enough firepower there to um, overcome this great Brockton defense this evening. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but yeah, Brockton is clicking on all cylinders right now, but I, they need to do a better job taking care of the basketball and, and and causing less dead balls. Other than that, I think this should be a victory for Brockton if they can correct those mistakes a little bit. Unless New Bedford comes out in this second half and totally turns it around. Right now, Boxer is just in total command of this basketball game. So the Boxers will have the basketball. That's Jason Parent, who's a junior. Biddle, long three is no good. And Bedford comes out of there with a rebound and almost stolen by Xavier. Xavier's hurt. And he twisted his ankle a little bit. Mm, 
Wow. I'm not sure where he's going. But he went to the locker room. So in comes Isaac Lane to the boxes. They get it inside. Shot is missed. Well defended. Yeah, good defense again. Your Bethel can't buy a shot. Diamond Blakely gets off the Gets inside and in the paint and just missed a shot off the glass, but he's fouled. So Diamond Blakely will go to the free throw line again. And he's taking advantage of whatever New Bedford gives him. Shot is good. He's made a number of points at the free throw line. That's a number, yeah. <laughs> Second free throw attempt is good. And they got a substitution. Whistle's blown and Diamond will come out. And number 31, Noah Alawu. Stolen by Biddle. Oh, Navon comes in. Oh, wow. Oh. wow. What a block. I think Navon was surprised at how far up number 34. Sam Mosher, oh, wow. do what we a have block. this? Wow. Yeah, wow, that was a great leaping ability by <laughs> Sam Mosher, yeah, and I think it surprised Navon. That was great athleticism, he, yes. he glassed the ball. Two athletic high school. Great athleticism. Yes, basketball players going at it right there. Forty-five seconds left in this ball in this second half. Excuse me, second quarter. Perret gets the steal. Biddle blocked by Sam Mosher again. Sam Mosher ball. That's it. Great, wow. Great, great athletic player. Yeah. Great athletic player. Wow. And Biddle tried to fake him out, but he didn't take the fake. Perret the miss. Excuse me, that was number 31. I'm sorry, who took the shot? Noah Olawu. Olawu, Olawu, who missed the shot, and the boxes have it out underneath. 29 seconds on the shot clock, 31 seconds left in this uh, second quarter. Olawu stops, blocked. Back come the Whalers. And stolen by Navon again. Behind the back, stops and pops, no good. Gee, if he would have followed his shot, came right back to him. And they're gonna call a charge. Nice job by Biddle to hold his position. Nice. Mm -hmm. Nice job by Biddle. Boxers get the, get the ball back with six seconds on the clock. Oh, wow, turnover. Yeah, a little communication issue right there. Underneath, and the, uh, New Bedford gets their first easy two points of the um, half. So that first half is ended. Boxes with a commanding 17-point lead, 37-20. And uh, Chris, what do you see out there in this first half? Yeah, what I see was um, a little bit of entertainment. A lot of um, a lot of dead ball possessions. Both of these play, both, all players are just sort of their psyches are kind of into it. They're, they're very. I guess I could see. I could I could sense some anger within some players, honestly. But nah, but both of these, both of these, both of these teams are, are playing pretty good basketball. Box is obviously with the commanding lead, the 17-point lead. But, but both teams are just trying to figure it out. New Bedford can't get any offense at all. That's just why they're down 17 points. So the they, boxes are really, the boxes really need to figure out their offense too. A lot of dead balls. So there you have it, folks. We'll be back with second half action. New Bedford Whalers going up against the Brockton Boxers here at Staff Gymnasium. We'll be back in uh, for second half action in a moment. Welcome back, everybody, to Brockton High Basketball. We're getting ready to start this second half. 
And Chris, as you said, Brockton's defense just overwhelming in that first half in New Bedford. They really couldn't get anything going. Brockton controlled the boards on both ends as they did the last game against Durfee. What do you think New Bedford has to do to try to get back into this basketball game? Yeah, they just need some offensive playmaking, some 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 offensive firepower, some superstars. I like what I've seen from Sam Mosher. He needs to develop into the offensive player. We talked about Carlos Lugo and Danny and um and um Kobe Fonseca. They, those two guys, they really need to um to show out for New Bedford. They they need to play their hearts out for their team. Well, I and tell you that Sam Marsha, he's really showed out there in that into that near the end of that second quarter with his defensive skills. Yes. Rejecting a few of the boxes um layup attempts. So the boxers have the ball with their starters back in there. Diamond Blakely over to Todd Robinson. Todd stops and pops. No good. And back come the Whalers. Nice. And a nice New pick. Yeah, New Bedford player lost the ball. And Biddle. A nice cleanup. Clean, yeah, clean nice up. Cleanup. Yes. Clean up layup by Trenton Biddle. That's his first basket of the game. And New Bedford having a tough time getting it down the court, but they do. Dishes it off underneath. Nowhere to go, and they're going to call a foul. Yes, he's good. He's good. He's, he's only good. So New Bedford will take it out from underneath, gets it inside the paint, and Marsha lays it up and in. Just kind of floats it in there. Good job by the Whalers. Robinson drives nice. to the basket, makes the tough two. Navon Reed with the defense. Ooh, nice, nice pass by Navon nice to assist. Biddle. Nice assist. Navon steals it again. Pops, no good. Tried the three, and back come the Wheelers. In the corner. Rebound, New Bedford, missed by Kobe. Kobe shoots again, blocked by Blakely. Oh, I, oh, oh. Uh. Just tough defense by the boxes. Ball taken. Ooh. Little dish off underneath, and finally, New Bedford hung tough. Yeah, yeah Navon, Navon Reed missed the rebound opportunity. Carlos Lugo kind of snuck it from him. What great defense by the boxes because it took about four attempts before New Bedford finally got it in. Todd Robinson drives and just misses. Again, back comes the Whalers. Marsha misses the shot. Good defense there by the big man, and Todd nice Robinson pass. lays it up and in. Nice pass. Diamond Blakely got fancy. And they're gonna call a cheap foul on Todd Robinson. Yeah, if we could, hmm. He couldn't believe it. It was a ticky-tack foul. Box is really hustling on defense, making New Bedford work for their shots. Yeah, New Bedford's getting tired. I can see it. They're, they're using all their energy on defense. Yeah. They're just hoping Brockton misses. Yeah, actually they're using all of their energy on offense. I mean, just to, um, they get this third quarter yeah. they're getting Second and third attempts, but they're having a tough time inside. Oh, oh and wow. There's going to be a foul. Biddle goes on the back yeah, of oh, number 31. Yeah, over the back, yes. Gabriel Valero, a senior, and he'll go to the free throw line to shoot two. I mean, both ends, both ends of the court, New Beth is using a lot of energy. Yes. A lot of energy on defense as well as offense, as you said. Um, just to hang with this, trying to hang with this boxer team, but still, boxers got a good lead, 45-24. Yeah. yeah, the boxers are just far more talented than New Bedford. Yeah. 5-15 left in this third quarter. Biddle drives oh. to the basket, and he is fouled. Wow. Nice strong drive by Biddle. Yeah, Miles. Just a lot of fouls in this game, man. The Southeast Conference rivals, man. They just these Southeast Conference clubs, man. They just get out each other, huh? They do. I've seen some great games over the years, and like I said, you can just throw out the um, the, the record, um, the records. For the most part, they both put 100% effort yeah. when they get out yes. on the court. 
Yeah, it's one of the more interesting conferences in the state, so. In the MIA League. Biddle makes his second free throw attempt. Marsha goes oh. in. And Navon gets payback. That's that's certainly payback. Navon was really waiting for yes, that. Let's watch this, folks. There you go. Clean, 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 clean. And the crowd loves it. If you can do it, I can do it too. Yeah, Nav Navon got his payback. Mosher, Mosher did it twice to Brockton, yes. and Navon got it back. Yeah, man, just just a lot of energy in this in this in this game. It is a blowout, but a lot of energy. Kobe almost stole stolen. Parent to oh, passes wow. a little bit low. Oh wow. But there's a foul. Yikes, man. Man, it's too much, too much physicality, Miles, man. Ah man. So we have a wounded we have a wounded whaler on the ground. Yeah. A lot of bodies flying for that basketball. Oh man, that's Carlos Lugo, number five. And I believe Noah Alou will go to the free throw line and maybe we'll see the replay on that block. Yeah, and by Navon. Navon Reed got his right hand, uh, right, right arm up, clean block. He was way up there. Nice. Not today, folks. Nice act. Stolen by the Whalers as Biddle went into the paint. Marsha, no good. Navon. Ooh. New Bedford really hustled for that basketball and yeah, stole yeah. it, took it back from. The boxes. Yeah, if you're an Avon Reed, you gotta hold on to the basketball. Biddle blocked by Sam Masher. He got a piece of it. And they're gonna call a foul on Biddle for his hustle trying to get it back. So we'll get some substitution. Give some of them starters a little breather because they were hustling. So you got Parent and Alowu and the, the guards. Bento's in there and Xavier's back out there, so he's okay. And there's a foul and the shot is good. Three point play for number 31. Gabriel Val Valero for New Bedford. He'll go to the free throw line and try to shoot, try to make three. Try to make a three point play. And some of the New Bedford starters, one of them comes out there, the sophomore comes out, gets a break as Gabriel Rodriguez, a junior, comes in. And they're gonna call a jump ball. Wow. That's, that was Raymond Bento on top of Lugo. Wow. And this boxers team, they're, they're experienced. They got nothing but juniors and seniors on the team. Where um, New Bedford has uh, three sophomores and the rest juniors and seniors. So referees uh, got a little oh, bit man. mixed up. They're trying to figure out whose ball it is on the possession. And it's New Bedford's possession, so they'll take it out from underneath. Back out top, inside the paint. Sam Mosher boxes all over, dishes it back out, long three, no good. Over the back, oh, it should have been, uh, been a foul. Oh, Marsha no. came over the back of Bento and there was no call. I did not want to see that. I just, I'm sorry for my reaction, Miles. It was, wow. I may have overreacted, but it was just a bit. Oh. Taken Ooh, back uh, by the box, uh, by the New Bedford and a foul. So with three minutes, 24 seconds left 
Coach Bowen is livid. He he wants to know what's going on out there. Should have been a whistle when Bento went for that defensive rebound. Sam Marshall came over his back, and there was no call. Wow. Yeah, Coach Bowen was actually um a little was furious on how I, he believed Carlos Lugo traveled getting up with the basketball. You cannot do that. You cannot get up with the basketball after being on the ground. But but a couple of pair of free throws for him. So 47-29. Isaac. Bento lays it up and oh, oh it just man. misses. Xavier with the with the um, rebound and he's gonna get fouled by um, Kobe. Yeah, I think I think New Bedford's <coughs> I think New Bedford's sloppy basketball play is really trying to is really confusing Brockton a bit. Brockton never seen this type of never seen never played a game like this. New Bedford is just trying to wiggle their way around the Brockton well, Brockton well, minds. Well, I tell you the last about the last three minutes, New Bedford's really hustled hard and gotten some steals and a few offensive rebounds and they've got a few more points in this third quarter. They've really hustled hard in this in the last three minutes of this third quarter. Yeah, they're hustling hard, and they and they still got a chance to come back about about a good 11 minutes. Well, the problem is once, um, if they're gonna come back, they better do it while the um, second team is in there because once that first team gets back in there, there's, there's no chance of New Bedford yes, that is coming true. back. That is true. So they need to take advantage of the second squad who's not playing bad at all, but they're really hustling out there. Isaac Lane, three is no good, but there's Parent underneath for the um, offensive easy two. Nice job by Parent. Getting his position underneath on the boards. Oh. Nice job by New Bedford, come back with two. Parent. Alohu gets it to half court over there to Isaac Lane. And the box is set up. Parent wants to drive. Nice drive. Goes oh, in hard, but no it. good. Nice defense by the Whalers. Yeah, good defense. Back come the Whalers. Wow, that was a that was a just I'm just gonna throw it up there. And hopefully I'll make the shot. Parent loses the ball. But the boxers get it back, and there's a foul. So New Bedford trying their best, putting on that defensive pressure. Yeah, the, the defensive full court trap, it's been working. It's been working so a bit for the most part for New Bedford. Yeah, and in the last few minutes, it's been working on this um, second team for the boxes. Yeah, they found, they found themselves going down 16. And actually, this is good experience for the boxes, the second um, team boxes. Xavier, good! Uh, Three-pointer. And they're gonna call oh. foul on the floor there on Bento. Oh, did, did you think that was a foul? He just stood up. Oh, wow. I think because he left his feet, and that's why they call the foul. And Bento's gonna come out and yeah, yeah, go, yeah, go, yeah. Continue your point, Miles, on the on on the Vi test for Brockton. Yeah, Vi came Nick, uh, Vi Kim Nichols will come in, but I think only because um, Bento left his feet a little bit. And that's where the referees call the foul, decide to call the foul. Because he did get, he get, he got ball. But he left his feet just a little bit and there was some body contact there when the shooter went for the shot. Hey, hey, um, Miles, what's, what's, what's the future ahead of Brockton? This is a good test for them, right, this challenge? Yeah, yeah this it, it, it's, it's a good test. Um, again, their only loss is against the BC High Eagles, but BC High Eagles are a very good team. Um, but as, as as the season goes on, the players get more familiar with each other, get a little bit more experience out here, and um, they should be better down the road as they get closer to the uh, playoffs. Yeah, yeah, this is a real test for them for the playoffs. We still got a ways to go, but uh, again, this is a good test uh, because it's a very intense rivalry. Yes. No matter who's on the court. A nice fake. Yeah. Outside fake. three. Good. Good. Carlos Lugo. Isaac. Shot is no good. Xavier with the rebound. Todd Robinson. 
top of the key. Robinson in and out. It was a good look. Yeah, good look. One minute, 12 seconds on the clock. Boxes, excuse me, Whalers get it down quickly. Little floater, no good, but he gets his own rebound. Three is no good. And Todd Robinson comes out of there and is fouled oh. on the rebound. So nice hustle by Todd Robinson. And Diamond Blakely will come back in along with number 32 for the boxes, Michael Curry. He's gonna get his chance to show his stuff. Yeah, yeah this, is that, this is an interesting sub for Coach Bowen. This is, yeah. a, this is a type of play that's kinda, that's needed for this game right now. That's how you break the trap. Very nice job by the boxes in the corner. Xavier, good! Nice shot. From downtown. Okay, that's three threes right now. That's three threes on the game for Xavier. 36 seconds left in this third quarter. Oh. And ball. Oh, oh. he's on his leg. Oh, man. And, sh and that was um, Sam Marsha that came down hard on oh, Diamond Blakely's oh. leg. Nice. And hopefully he'll be okay. Just a moment of pain. We got a big guy like that coming down on the one of the smaller guards, and he's gonna shake it off. Yeah, yeah. yeah he walks under his own power. Yeah, he's walking a little bit gingerly. Yeah, a round of applause for yep. Diamond Blakely. He'll he'll, he'll and, get a rest. Yeah, he'll go out. He'll go downstairs to the locker room. To get, to get that checked out. No, he's just running up, running it off. I thought he was headed to the locker room, but he's just running it off. Cross court, Robinson inside. The shot is missed by Nichols, but it'll be a travel call. 15 seconds left in this third quarter. You see the score. Fox is still in control of this basketball game. But New Bedford has picked it up here in the third quarter. Fox is gonna let him run down with seven seconds. In the corner, Todd Robinson looks, aims, misses, but Curry gets the rebound and nice. is fouled. Nice. nice offensive rebound by Curry. Nice offensive rebound. Did, did exactly what Coach Bowen wanted him to do in that situation. Yep, got inside the paint and got the rebound, and he'll be rewarded with two free throws with 2.1 seconds left on the clock here in the third quarter. And he makes his first free throw attempt. And they're gonna oh. call a lane f lane violation. Oh, okay. mm. oh, technical foul. So he must have said something while he was on the free throw line. So after Curry's free throw attempt, they'll go back down to the other end and uh, shoot a tech. And you can see by Kim Nichols pleading his case to the coach but he, obviously he said something. I can see that, I saw the referee told the Coach Bowen he warned him about something. Yeah, if you're Viking, you gotta, gotta, you kind of gotta, kind of gotta, gotta cool out, gotta yeah, cool out. Yeah, mentally, gotta, you, you, you gotta stay tough. Yeah. You, you look at, you, you got a big lead. There's no need to uh, do whatever he did. Exactly. You, you, you say teammates. whatever he said. Yeah. His teammates need him. Shot just missed at half court. 
So the end of the third quarter, Boxers still commanding 57-38 lead going into the fourth quarter. And um, I tell you, I gotta give New Bedford credit, even though the score doesn't indicate, but they really fought hard in that um, third quarter. Number of steals, a lot of hustle, they got a few more points, but um, still box a little bit too much for them. Yeah, but the box is a little bit too much for them. Their, their full court trap and their full court trap is working a bit. They're playing extra aggressive. That's what I actually like to see from them. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what you that's what you would expect against a Southeast Conference rival. Yeah, both of these teams are um, sort of sort of learning a bit. Brockton is sort of learning for the playoffs, and New Bedford is sort of learning for their season. So well, let's see where this so let's see where this game takes them for the future. Yeah, again, boxers coming in here at five and one. New Bedford with two wins and four losses coming into this um, rivalry game here at Staff Gymnasium. Yeah, Brockton will go up against Dartmouth next. This Friday, they. This Friday. They got a home game this Friday. So I believe New Bedford will take it out of bounds. So here we go, fourth quarter. New Bedford with the ball. Almost stolen by Todd Robinson, and they're gonna call it travel. Yeah, I said it before, just a lot of dead balls in this game. Both of these, both all players, they're just giving their hearts out in a, in a game right now, in this rivalry. It's a clear foul caused by yes. Isaac Lane against Mosher. He'll go to the line. Yeah, Isaac, Isaac Lane with five points today. Yeah, the Boxers' next home game will be against Brighton on the 11th of um, January. And I believe that's this Friday. Actually, the 11th is on a Saturday. That's what it says. I thought it would be Friday evening. We'll keep we'll keep you posted. Oh, I believe it is Friday because the game's at 3.30. New Bedford comes down quickly. Long three is no good. Rebound Isaac Lane. Robinson. Xavier, he's gonna take it, and he is fouled when he takes the shot. And he'll go to the free throw line. I don't know if he's gonna, he's gonna get three. Okay, it was on number three, but let's see how many shots he's gonna get. I believe he'll get three, three shots. It was a three point play. Xavier goes in, shot is blocked. Oh, wow. You'll see the replay here. Let's see what we got. Oh, oh. Xavier comes crashing into the New Bedford ball player. Oh, it stepped over him. So no, no harm there, stepping over him, but uh, I'm sure you, the frustration's in New Bedford. So it'll be a foul on Xavier. But you know New Bedford's frustrated. Yeah. They've really been playing hard, but 
but uh, Brock Box is a little bit too, too, too tough for him. This is an intense rivalry. Like I said, over the years, with 7-12 left in the game, Carlos Lugo will take the free throw attempt. Makes his second free throw attempt. 59-38. So they must have called a tech on New Bedford. Yeah. So Noah Alowu will have the honors. And he makes his first shot. And he makes the second. So it'll be Boxer's ball from center court. And Parent will take it out. A low one. Inside, nice pass. Curry nice pass, gets it back Curry. outside. Parent, shot is missed. Strong rebound by Isaac Lane. It's good! Wow! Xavier, um, Xavier. I think Xavier. Xavier, excuse me. I think, I think he just called for a tech. And he got a little overexcited yeah. after hitting that three. Yeah, he's, he's called for unsportsmanlike conduct. Yeah. He, he can't do that. He's gotta stay in his right frame of mind. Got caught up in the moment. I probably gestured something to the, one of the um, New Bedford ball players, and the ref caught him, caught him red-handed. And Kobe will miss his first uh, tech free throw attempt. Second free throw attempt is no good, so New Bedford could not take advantage. Yeah, Basically, they they've had a tough time on the free throw line this evening. Yeah, man. Yeah, they've had a tough time. Yeah, they've had a tough time, and that's pretty much been their calling card for this game. That was their opportunity to get some points and get closer. And, and they didn't quite capitalize on the, uh, at the line. Got to capitalize at the free throw line, especially if you're down. The dish off inside. Shot is missed. Isaac comes out of there to Curry. To Bento inside. Wow. And he is fouled, great. trying to put it up. A nice pass by Bento. Yeah, great passes by those three yeah. players. Curry to Bento to Lane. Great passes. And you might see it here. Here yeah, it is. Curry to Bento to Lane. That's, that's, that's easy basketball right there. Go to the line and go to the line. I think if, if Lane would have just put it up and not, he, when he put the ball on the floor, he gave the, defense, the defensive man a chance to make his defense and move even though he's, he will be rewarded at the free throw line. But yeah, I think yeah. if he didn't, he would he just put it up. Just go straight up, yes. He if he went straight up, he would have beat the uh, defensive play. Yes. So he'll have his chance to make two at the free throw line. The junior, Jason Parent, makes his first free throw attempt with 6.26 left on the clock. Second free throw attempt is in and out. Travel. So travel yeah. on number three, Gabriel Rodriguez. And New Bedford calls a timeout. So we got a timeout with 6.16 on the clock. Yeah, I think Brockton should feel a little bit more confident, a little bit more comfortable with this game. Vanilton Xavier kind of was that the dagger miles would you would you say so well, that you know, three that last three that last three that he hit really the last couple of threes that Xavier his uh, Zaver, uh, Xavier Xavier yeah excuse me Xavier that he's hit it's really killed the uh, momentum of um, New Bedford because they've been really playing hard during the second half and it seems like when they feel like they they're getting something going 
Xavier just comes down and hits one of them threes, and it's just like a dagger. Yeah, they've been playing hard, but their offense just wasn't hard enough. They didn't attempt enough shots. Brogdon attempted a lot of shots. Brogdon, Brogdon's had Brogdon shot pretty low, a pretty low field goal percentage. I could percentage. I could really sense it. New Bedford did a good job on them on defense, but they took a lot of shots. Yeah, well, and um, Brogdon's yeah. um bench has had been playing a lot in the second half. Coach um, Bonham's giving them a chance, and New Bedford has been trying to take advantage, but uh, really this uh, second squad has really stepped up when they've had the chance. They've been getting a lot of pr defensive pressure, but they've come through. Lane. For rent. A low corner lane, long three, good! Nice shot. Isaac Lane, smoothest man on the court, hits the shot, a three-point dagger with 5.44 on the clock here in this basketball game at Staff Gymnasium. Long three is no good, rebound, Parent. He comes out of the pack, coast to coast, lays it up and in! Nice. Jason Parent really showed out today, had a great, great ball game today. Inside, Kobe, floater, no good. Bento gets it out there to his guard. In the corner, Isaac Lane. Good! Wow, Isaac Lane. Wow. Showing out. He's definitely showing out. Inside move, no good. De good defense by Bento with the, with the body. Yep. And Curry is tripped up by number 31, Gabriel Valero. And he's acting like, what, what? But he was definitely tripped up. And he didn't trip up on his own feet. That was a trip. It might not have been intentional, but uh, Curry will go to the free throw line for the second time this evening. Yeah, I gotta congratulate Brogdon for their mentality a bit. They they did express some emotion by Vanilton and Xavier, but they were they were very mature. There was there was just a lot of tic tac calls, a lot of a lot of anger that was expressed. But Brogdon did a good job of just com being composed. I really can congratulate them for the. And there's a lot of personalities on this team, and they did a good job of being composed. Good job. Yeah, a lot of personalities there are on the boxes. Four fifty on the clock. Three point attempt is no good, and they're gonna call it off the backboard up top. Bento. Nice play by Bento. Nice pass underneath to the big man. Nice use of your body, Raymond Bento. Switch it to the other hand as, as New Bedford. New Bedford comes back. Yep. With a three. Lane goes in the lane and throws a wild shot up, and it'll be travel. Coach telling Isaac he went up a little bit too early. He could have. Pass it back out, let the offense come back down, set up, take a little bit more time off this clock. Shot is no good, rebound, Whalers. Two point shots, no good off the glass. And here comes Parent. Goes up and in, makes the shot and is foul. Goes up nice and hard. And he'll have a chance for a three point play. Fabulous, fabulous offensive mindset and fabulous offensive move and aggressiveness by Jason Parent. Good job. Good use of the euro. And he makes the three-point play. Jason Parent. Shot is missed. Easy layup and he blew it. So it'll still be uh, New Bedford's ball. Commanding score on your screen. Wow, very commanding, wow. 
Yeah, yeah, the boxes really wrapped this one up. Nice steal. Little spin move. Good! Oh, wow! Wow! Little dipsy do. Yes. How do you do? Uh, Jason Perry got the skills. Showing his stuff. Air ball, Bento. Hello, Wu. With three minutes and 16 seconds left, Curry goes in the paint, lays it up and in. Wow. And he's fouled. Michael Curry, show your stuff, man. You got it. He's taking advantage of his time out there on the court. He's making Coach Bowen proud and his teammates on the bench. Michael Curry, a junior. And he misses the free throw attempt. Back come the Whalers. Shot is missed inside the paint. Michael Curry in the boxes come back down quickly. Isaac Lane with the three, no good. Drags just look like almost a travel, but no call. Jason Lane goes in and misses the shot, but he's fouled. So he'll go to the free throw line with two minutes, 33 seconds left in this ball game. Yeah, 20, 20 total fouls on the half for the second half by both teams, 10 each. Yeah, 80, 84, 84, 42 boxers. And yeah, yeah, very physical game, uh, Chris. Yeah, very physical, yes. It was it was the same way last year around this time as well, when, he, when these two Cubs met last year. And he makes his second free throw attempt. There's a whistle. A foul. Wow, Miles, man, this is an 86-42 ball game, but what, what, what's your what's your um, imaginary score for this game? Uh, just what's on the board. Oh, okay. Just what's on uh, the board. It, it, um, Brockton okay. basically commands this ball game from start to finish. Like in that third quarter, um, made tried to make a run, but it was just, like you said be earlier, just – Brockton has too much firepower. Yeah, too much offensive firepower. Yeah. That's that's the key word, Fire, firepower. 86 total points. So two minutes, 15 seconds left. I think Coach Ball wants him to hold up a little bit. Use a, use a little bit of that 30-second clock. Shot is good oh, with 12 seconds on the shot clock. Michael Curry hits the three. That's nine points already for Curry, all in the second half. Good good player. And they're going to call a foul on Mike. Oh, Jesus. Sorry. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, I guess, it is, it I guess, is a I, long game. Yeah, I guess there's some unnecessary fouls being called. <laughs> Let's get this thing over with. Yeah, 148 left. As our announcer. Can't believe it. We got one minute forty-eight seconds left. Still to go. Yeah, New Bedford still wants their points. They're they're I could tell the New Bedford players and the and the and the staff, they're angry about this game. Well, they got a lot of pride. Uh, a lot of whaler pride out there, even though they know they're getting um bombed out here, but a lot of pride. Isaac in and out. Back come the whalers. And that was number 32. Gets it over Bento. Number, excuse me, number 24. Time out, time out, good Will, call, good Will call. Tarp, Tarpy. And let's see what we got. Jump ball. It'll be jump ball, so possession on uh, New Bedford. Three, no good air ball. 
Tarpey tries to save it, but it'll be box a ball. With one minute and seven seconds to go. Current. Curry, three. Wow! Isaac Lane smoothly comes out of nowhere in the air and just throws it back up yeah. off the glass and in. Just great use of your body, Isaac. Yes. Good play, Isaac. Good job. Rebound Bento, but taken back by the um, New Bedford. And it'll be Box's ball with 32 seconds to go. Wow, that was a great move by Isaac. Just came out of nowhere, flying through the air and just took the rebound and put it up without even the ball being put back on the floor. 23 seconds to go, 21 seconds on the shot clock. One second difference and the boxers know, well the coach Bowen is told to go ahead and just run it out. And New Bedford knows they're gonna come out of here. Hard, a hard fought loss wow. by wow. New Bedford and a hard fought win by the boxes. And with one second go, boxes, Bowen chose to have them just run out the 30 second clock, and there's still 1.2 seconds to go. As the boxes will come out of here with their record at six and one, New Bedford will fall to two and five. And Chris, it was just, the uh, Willis just overmatched this evening with the boxes first squad and even the second squad showed out in that second half. Yeah, the first squad and the second squad show, yeah, yeah, tremendous, tremendous substitutions by by Coach Bowen. Smart, smart play calling by Coach Bowen. He gets, he gets a part of my game ball. Yeah, they, yeah, all these guys played well. Raymond Bento kind of showed out a bit. Yeah, but but my personal game ball, I'll give it to Diamond Blakely. He, he got hurt, re-led re the way early for Brockton. Some aggressive drives to the basket. They, he really led the way early. But Nilton Xavier, wow. Was he four for four from the three-point line? I don't know. No, he, no, he did miss one the, shot. Okay, all right. But I tell you, who set the tone in that first hit, first quarter and first half was uh, Navon Reed. Navon Reed as well, With his athleticism yes. out there, he was just taking, he took over very early. But you can see um, the credits going up on the screen. Chris, good game. Um, We'll see everybody for the next game, next uh, at this Friday or this Saturday afternoon. Again, this is Miles Jackson along with Chris Bazil. This has been a BCA production. Good night, everybody. Thank you very much.